Here's video of the 1997 LX450. All of the glass on all four doors was replaced. These two pieces of glass, the back glass on the back door and the front uh, by one of the previous owners. If you know these trucks, you know that all the glass has a bronze color to it from the factory, from Lexus. Um, he wanted to get rid of that bronze color because it was very dated. So he had all new glass put in from Toyota without the bronze coloring and then just had tint put over it. So it definitely looks different than the LX 450s that you're probably used to seeing. Uh, back glass, he did that as well. And if you notice, there's no sliders on these glass. If you've ever had one of these trucks before, you probably know that the sliders are prone to getting water inside them and having water dripping through the interior of these panels. Um, he had the solid glass custom ordered from Japan and put in. You can't get those in the US. And uh, in my opinion, it looks a lot better and more modern than the old sliding glass. The uh, entire car was uh, pulled apart, trim, glass, everything pulled off and repainted by the previous owner back, I think, in 2018 and uh, is still in very good condition. It's dusty because it's been sitting in my garage here for um, over a month and uh, needs a, a little bit of a wash to look perfect again. Uh, no roof rack on this truck and uh, most people remove them and um, weld the hole shut and everything when uh, they're building an off-road rig because they're prone to rusting where the holes are and everything. No rear wing, again, for the same reason. All of the drip rails and everything uh, and all the molding, all of this was replaced when the body work and paint work was done. So if you notice, there's no rusting along any of these like you see on a lot of these trucks where the paint starts chipping off and the metal is oxidizing, all of that's new. Um, the engine has had um, pretty much all of the maintenance work done that you would expect and is in very good shape. Uh, while I've had it for the last two months, um, I replaced the two PCV hoses, PCV valve. Um, I got rid of the aftermarket NGK plug wires, put factory Toyota OEM plug wires on there. Uh, the updated Uridium Denso spark plugs, uh, distributor cap and rotor. Um, what else do we do? Um, the drive belts um, were replaced. Um, the previous owner did all of the breeze constant torque clamps and replaced all of the radiator hoses, uh, replaced the heater uh, control valve hoses along with the breeze constant torque clamps there and upgraded those. Um, the burr fields, the front knuckles have been, let me see if I can get some light here. Might be difficult to see, but the burr fields have been resealed and um, rebuilt uh, about two, I think three years ago. They're in really great shape. Don't need to be touched for probably several more years. Um, they're black, but the springs are old man emu um, springs. So a slight lift, I think around one and a half or two inch lift compared to uh, stock. Uh, the tires are Pro Comp 285s and they are riding on black Rhino wheels, front and back. Um, there are custom machined CNC uh, machine spacers that are uh, installed behind them to get them to uh, the offset that they're at. They can be removed and um, gone back to stock wheels if you want uh, the stock look. The interior, let me show you the interior, has been completely reupholstered. Uh, door panel, arms reupholstered. Uh, all of the seats very professionally reupholstered. The foam actually has been replaced as well. You can tell they're nice, firm uh, fitting leathers. They're not saggy like you would see on a recovered seat that has old foam. The foams have actually been replaced on these. The center console lid's been replaced. 
um, the driver's seat, obviously the new leather as well. Uh, driver's seat and passenger seat, power seat gears have been replaced. I replaced those. Um, the driver's seat was skipping a little bit on the gears. This one was still in good shape, but I went ahead and replaced both of them anyway. Um, the um, uh, interior, uh, let's see what else. Shift knob has been replaced. That shift knob has been replaced. None of them are worn because they're new. Uh, the steering wheel was refinished by one of the previous owners. Um, right now you've got right around 203,000 miles on the clock. And the uh, AC, everything functions. All the windows work. The window regulators are all in good condition. Um, previous owner installed the uh, JDM style cup holder there. Um, the visors are in good shape and uh, function as they should. Um, the visors, I think, were upgraded to the ones out of a Lexus LS uh, by one of the previous owners. If you know what the LX uh, visors look like, these are a little bit bigger, uh, but they do bolt directly onto the LX and is a common upgrade. The uh, seats, when they were being reupholstered, the nets were also redone. Um, if you notice, they're not sagging like they usually are. Uh, they have new elastics put in them, and they are nice and tight the way they should be. Um, the back seats reupholstered, and uh, the third row seats, they're down right now, but they were reupholstered as well. Um, the uh, one thing back here that is not to my liking, uh, where you have the factory, I don't know what goes there, the little sound controls and things that comes with these LXs, or it was the DVD player, I think, uh, was pulled out by a previous owner. There's a piece of broken plastic here, and uh, it needs to be, uh, if I was to keep it, uh, replaced and uh, a cap made to, to cover it. My plan was to just make a, a plate to cover that or put an accessory switch in there or something like that. But uh, that does need attention, in my opinion. Going on to the back. Uh, and struts back here and the hood struts as well were replaced. Um, the uh, one thing you'll notice when you open any of the doors, the carpet looks like it's in really good shape for a truck this age. That's because it was also replaced when the upholstery was done. Um, when the upholstery was done back in, I think, again, 2018 or so, um, the carpet was pulled out and replaced as well. Uh, one of the previous owners did put Pioneer speakers in the door, but he did retain the factory speaker grills, which, um, in my opinion, look a lot better than any aftermarket ones uh, because you can't tell that anything's been done. Um, some of the uh, door panel trim has been replaced. I don't think all of it has, but all of it's in very good shape. Uh, but I noticed a couple of them look almost brand new. Uh, so they've, they've obviously been replaced. All of the seat switches for this seat and the other seat are there. A lot of times you'll see this one broken off when people are sliding in and out of the car. They're all there and functioning and looks like uh, they've, they've been replaced with new ones because there's not even any wear on them. Factory running boards were removed by the previous owner. Um, the mount points are still there. Uh, so if uh, you were to want to put them back on, you can easily get a set of factory running boards and put them back on. Uh, the front bumper is an ARB, looks very new um, by one of the previous owners. I didn't put that on, uh, but it's uh, almost new, not even a scratch on it. Uh, it is the winch bumper. If you wanted to add a winch at some point, um, but uh, does not have a winch installed currently. The side markers, looks like somebody replaced them with the European look uh, white ones. Uh, so the orange ones are not on there. And that's about it. If you have any questions, let me know. Or if you need any other videos or photos or anything like that, uh, happy to send them over.